Audi Q7 has been completely redesigned from the ground up. This now means that it is a little bit shorter, a little bit narrower, but a whole lot lighter thanks to the use of clever space age materials. Now this lightness translates into better performance and better fuel consumption, but it hasn't encroached on the interior space. There's now in fact more space than ever. design has made the Audi Q7 now quite the looker, gone on the rounded lines and in its place a slightly more purposeful, aggressive sort of look. It's very angled and angular and it's very Audi through and through. A very strong 3D sort of grill up front dominates the front end while at the back you've got LED tail lights. Down the sides very strong sharp edges just carry that Audi DNA from front to the back. The new Q7 is available in two different variants. You've got the 2 litre petrol turbo and the 3 litre V6 turbo diesel. Now we're driving the 3 litre V6 turbo diesel and they make roughly the same amount of power. It's the torque of the diesel that's almost twice that of the petrol. This 3 litre V6 TDI makes 183 kilowatts and 600 newton meters of torque and that's going to get you from 0 to 100 in just over 6 seconds. It's pretty frugal too. Now the inside of the car is crammed full of tech and that's probably the biggest selling point of the new Q7. The gauge cluster, the binnacle here, is a full digital layout. You've still got sort of traditional analog gauges but they are digital. You've got a choice though. You can have them as two small gauges with a nice broad 7 inch map or vehicle info section in the middle or by the push of a button you can have two large gauges, a slightly more traditional approach to a gauge cluster. While most of the control can be done through the steering wheel in this gauge cluster, it is the center console with its drop down screen that can be hidden away from view that is still the main command center. And it's all controlled through the revised control system here down by the gear lever. It's actually quite intuitive to use, quite a pleasure. Passengers in the back of the Q7 are also taken care of beautifully. This full-size rear seat can take three adults and there's plenty of headroom and so much legroom. Four zone climate control means that I can adjust this so that I am in my own comfortable little zone. Same for all the passengers in the vehicle in fact. The rear seats recline as well and they've finished off in an optional suede and leather treatment. Overall, very classy, very opulent in fact. The new Audi Q7 is a fantastic all-rounder. It's a jack of all trades and a master at many of them as well. The 3 litre TDI comes in at 925,000 Rand, but just be warned that that options list is very thirsty.